to the horizontal pull push squat workout. So doing a body weight pull horizontally, want to make sure that we get a nice stretch through that full range of motion. So you're reaching forward when you're at the bottom of the lift and you're opening up that chest, stretching it out through the top, retracting those shoulder blades so you get the scaps to come together and retract fully. Then we're going into a push-up using a full range of motion, using that bottom of the push-up to stretch the chest, pushing right through, getting that serratus anterior activation and a nice squat pattern to open up the hips, activate those glutes, legs, get that whole body conditioning. So an easy version for the horizontal pull. So if you do have the door set up, by all means get into that. So you've got the towel with the tea towel around the top of the door, getting a nice horizontal pull. You can change the angle of pull, so you might go wider, might come in closer, just depending on how you want to condition the body. Closer is going to work the arms a bit more, wider is going to work those posterior delts. If you've got the ring set up, you can start out where you're further back, so you'll be higher up, like that. Then as you get better, you want to lower the rings, get more horizontal. You can start out with the knees bent, then you can go into having the legs straight by like getting a nice rotation with it. Just depends on the other movements that I've done in my workout. So if I've done overhand grip, parallel grip or rotational grip for my pull up, then I'll work with that because I usually do three pull push legs in a row twice a week. But uh, everyone's got to work with the body they have and the time they have. Um, so for most people I just recommend just doing one pull push legs in a day's session. This eight minute workout. For the push up, you can go to the floor, you can raise your hands up on a bench, go to the knees. I'm going in between the dumbbells to get more of a stretch. So here, coming right down, stretching that chest out, pressing right up and through. So getting good range of motion through that, keeping that core nice and tight. Then I'm gonna go into a squat. Now if you've got weight, you might do a front squat, and do a back squat. If you've got a barbell, you can do a partner squat. If you've got a partner to sit on your shoulders, it makes it quite heavy. For me, I do my squats and deadlifts on a separate day and do them a bit heavier. Uh, so I just work single leg squats just for mobility, control, stability, good ankle mobility when you're going down. So to get a good single leg squat, you've got to have that nice ankle range of motion. So let's get into this workout. Eight minutes, really simple. Nice and practical. Let's get that timer cranking. So, I want to make sure that the ring is set up at a nice height. I'm going to warm up with my knees bent. Get a good stretch every rep. Work the rep ranges that are good for you. I encourage people to work three to 12 in the 30 seconds so, and then vary the intensity. So you can vary the intensity by changing the variation and make it harder or easier, uh, depending on how many reps you're doing. I'm going to use that breath. Push right up through, really feel those serratus anterior pushing the shoulder blades around the rib cage. And for my squats, I'm just going to do a beep per leg, but just focus on three clean reps, get a nice full range. Stretch out that ankle, reach forward. I'm not trying to overload my body, just get that whole body effect. And also motivate you guys to get more of a whole body workout. I just sit around and do nothing. It's not as uh, inspiring, just yapping along. But uh, yeah, no, this stuff is great. So simple, so practical, and uh, 
just easy to integrate into your lifestyle. So I made these set a little bit harder, have my legs straight, more weight in the upper body, more of a challenge. Nice grip. Push right through. You feel that body work. Remember, if the floor ones on the knees are good, the main thing is your spine's aligned. Got good technique. Feeling good. Feel that ankle move. So I did my heavier squats yesterday. So I'm just feeling them out today. Just did my station training for squats. So I worked eight reps every two minutes. It was nice, felt good. Good stretch in the bottom, each rep. Listen to your body, guys. Work with it. Be kind to yourself. You want to make sure that you keep training, keep developing, keep feeling good. Take a breath, pull, and release the breath on the way down. Squats. If you're doing the double leg, you'll do that working set and then get a full rest. Luxury. And also, too, saves you from doing another leg day. Cruisy stuff, guys. Conditioning the body, but you don't have to go too hard. You just gotta eat well, sleep well, have those loving relationships, especially with yourself.
squats. Home straight, guys. Too easy. That's done pretty quick. Effective. And just simple as a lifestyle. No reason not to do it. Just love your body, work with it, condition it, get more out of this experience. And if you're feeling a bit off, just do an easier version. Or just do mobility that day and come back the next day. Just work with your body. If you didn't get good sleep, haven't eaten well, you know, a bit stressed out, whatever. Just love your body. It'll give you what you want. Health, happiness, freedom, self-expression. All the good stuff. If you've got any feedback, let me know. See you soon, guys.